Now, the largest Hittite army ever assembled must repel the Egyptian invaders or face oblivion. Today, a school team from Hertfordshire of two generals and watch out to your right and their lieutenants attempt to stop the pharaoh in his tracks and hold on to Kadesh. All the while, military experts assess the team's strategy and skill. It's going to be a barroom brawl. Will Kadesh fall to Pharaoh, or will the Hittites triumph? This is Time Commanders. Mayor in our 21st century war room are a team from Lord Wandsworth College. Peter Booth, 56, history teacher, rank general. Vicky Gilday, 16, student, rank lieutenant. Sam Bishop, 16, student, rank general. James Augustine, 16, student, rank lieutenant. So you're all from Lord Wandsworth's College. That's right. Yeah. Which of you is the teacher? <laughs> That's me. Right. Okay. Yeah, the old college. Now, Vicky, what brings you to Time Commanders? I'm very interested in history. I really like the way um, events in the past affect our choices for the future. And you could you could change history because you're going to go way back could in time could and be in control of an army. I know. Sam, what's Peter like as a teacher? He's quite an interesting teacher. He knows an awful lot of stuff about history. I've told you going to get, if, if things start to go wrong, you will become edgy and fractious. <laughs> well, that, that kind of depends on the situation. All right. James, yeah. welcome. Uh, you uh, want to join the RAF, yes. the Middle East School, mm -hmm. uh, and if not, you'll follow a medical career. Maybe, maybe. So either way, you're going to be killing. Uh, <laughs> definitely. The more the merrier. Let me introduce you to two people who are going to... Well, maybe they'll be a help to you. Let's find out. Uh, this is uh, Alec and Mark. Come up, gentlemen. They've been authenticating the details of the battle you're about to fight, uh, making sure it's as historically accurate as we can make it. Dr. Eric Nussbacher, Senior Lecturer in War Studies, Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. Mark Irvin, Military Historian and Author. Okay, what have we got? This is the Battle of Hadesh, and you are going to be the army of the Hittite King. Well, it's more than 3,200 years ago. And we're in a piece of the world that's now called Syria. But at the time, it was the crossroads of the known world. And the great Egyptian empire of Ramesses II is groping north and east towards the, the new Hittite empire. And they're going to clash. Now, you've got a very mobile army. You've got thousands of chariots. And they're heavy chariots. They're very powerful. So, you know, you can think of it in Jeremy Clarkson terms. This is the one you've got to give some welly, uh, because you've got the kind of army that will do that for you. Lead from the front. And I think also, you've got some sense that the Egyptians coming against you are not in the best of order. What's the significance of this battle we're about to fight? How could history change? Well, from a Hittite point of view, you've got big trading cities, trading centers that the Egyptians want to take away that trade from you and they want to if you like park their chariots on your lawn so you've really got to stop them doing it before fighting the egyptian army the team must first find out everything they can about the battle first up is a terrain survey is a large desert plain divided by a river. On one side, the team's army is gathered on flat ground, which slopes steeply down to a ford in the river. A narrow corridor leads through fields to the Egyptian army and the city of Kadesh. The team need to find the best place to fight this battle. 
James, Sam, what do you think? It's quite an open area, so, uh, but I think the, maybe the key to the battle depends whether we're attacking or defending is going to be the forward. Can we have a look at the fields? They've got, have they got walls around them? No, it's just a field, isn't it? What about the, the city? Do we need to worry about the city? Okay, yeah. Right, that's fairly impenetrable. Okay, so if we can come back to this side, have a look at the plane. So if the, if the battle's fought there, which I presume is fairly large scale, then, then it's basically it's an open plane rather than using the terrain. It depends on the scale, doesn't it? The team have used their time well. They've found the ford, which will allow them to cross the river, and have realized that flat ground will be the best place to fight the battle. Now the two lieutenants need to check out the Hittite army and find out all they can about the troops they'll control in battle. Their generals must lay out this information on their map table. The team controls some 40,000 troops. Ranged in front are 3,500 chariots, light, mobile and deadly. Control of these key troops is split between Vicky and James. They need to use their superiority in Hittite chariots to dominate the Egyptians. Chariots are very important in this period of history because nobody has bred horses with strong enough backs and enough stamina to carry a soldier in battle. So the way to use your horse in battle is to have it pull a chariot. That chariot is primarily a missile platform. You can stab somebody with your spear if they get in close, but the best use of any chariot is throwing javelins or shooting arrows at the enemy. Our chariots are going to be very... And the chariots are absolutely key, key uh, sure. weapons in the whole thing, aren't they? Yeah. And yeah. The, spear, the only other things for the spearmen, they're very, they're very defensive, but they're not good on the flanks. The remainder of their force is made up of ranks of spearmen. Many are veterans of previous battles against the Egyptians. The spearmen are best used in a direct frontal attack. Well, we mustn't split them up, and we've got to make sure that any manoeuvres, we combine them. So you, you, you lieutenants, have got to, got to keep them yeah, working sure together. together. We're fighting this battle in the Bronze Age. And in Bronze Age warfare, swords are not as important as spears. Bronze Age swords tend to bend, and spear points are a much more durable and effective way to use bronze in war. So we're seeing arrows, javelins, and spears as some of the most important weapons in this Bronze Age battle. Now, are they good against um, chariots? That's what James said, right? Yeah. Yeah, so they're the good ones against chariots, right. Years of detailed note-taking in the classroom have paid off, and the team are looking sharp. Can they apply the same skills to their recce of the Egyptian enemy? Yep, yep. The team now have to send their scouts across the river to find out all they can about the invading Egyptians. Just getting the scouts in decent position first. Well, they've got across the ford, all right. They send their scouts to the high ground, the best place from which to spy on the Egyptian invaders. James reports his findings back to his generals. Yeah. Got one elite guards at the front. And then they've got two regulars. And then two archers. And on this side you've got um, three units of archers. Three units of axemen. Four more chariot archers. They're conducting a good systematic reconnaissance, but the thing they really have to uh, fix upon is the fact that the Egyptian infantry are still in marching columns. And what that means is, if the Hittites crash into them early on in the battle, they won't have time to deploy properly. Can we lock in on these guys? This Egyptian army has been sent to lay siege to Kadesh, but are they also equipped for a fight on an open battlefield? The archers in front, over to the left, down on them. We see quite a lot of archers in the Egyptian army. Now, they actually had quite a good fighting reputation. They have their uses in a battle like this. They're dangerous to the Hittites. Can you zoom in on those? Five more chariots in reserve over on the right there. Can you zoom in? 
The team are realizing that they have far more infantry than the Egyptians, but the enemy also have a formidable force of chariots. Chariots, if you like, is a status symbol weapon. It's important to mass those and it shows wealth and status. 